Okay, do 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 la la la. Bam. Oh, what happened there? Yeah. Now I can definitely agree with you there. It really sucks to go up against a pebbled as support. Um, I mean, what what as a support, what can they do? Uh, just really stack bracers, I suppose. Hmm? Stack bracers and get a mystic vestments, and just keep strong wards up all the time. And if you're counter warding, maybe bring someone with you every now and then. But pebbles. He's really demoralizing when you're just support. Yeah, talk about demoralizing as well. Bombardi grabbing another kill down south. I'm not too sure Plague Rider's going to be able to live to tell the tale. He goes down as well, one for one exchange. But Revy, man, these these Bombardier ults of yours uh, definitely uh, stacking the KD meter as he picks up another one from the south. Oh, yeah. I don't really agree with Plague going in on that, but they ended up getting us a kill on Slither from that, but he was dead from the get-go by going in right there. So they got his Zot and Hellbringer added to it. Yeah, and Hellbringer's going to take that Malphys tank, this tower a little bit. No defense seems to be mobilizing, and this tower's going down at a pretty decent rate. We do have Bombardier coming down. He has finished up a, a bottle. Wow, that's uh, impressive at this point. <laughs> Um, I don't know, what other kind of like big items do we have right now? I mean, we're probably going to see them on Binary Evasion, because they have that 6,000 gold lead, but we're, I'm just hitting 21, 51, 52, 53. What do we got for items, sir? Well, I'm looking at Pessy right now, and he's extremely close to his portal key. I expect that to turn some fights around and put some things in their favor. But other than that, there's nothing else by the looks of things. Taking a look at Flint, he's almost got his... Fr his frost brand, he's got a steam boots and a soul scream ring. But aside from that, I don't really see much on the Hellborn side. As Slither almost goes down to Chipper and Flint. But Pebbles uh, got his revenge for him, don't worry. <laughs> oh, I was looking at Slither. Such a pretty little snake. <laughs> Snake, reptile, thing with legs, whatever you want to call it. But I'm going to take a quick look here at Swiftblade. He is kind of the star of the show at this point. Pebbles is just doing uh, whatever he does, par key. But he does have a portal key uh, as well. But really, Swiftblade has his iron shield, his boots, and his rune axe. Pretty impressive for a 20-minute mark. Uh, although, eh, probably 21-minute mark. I'm just hitting the 23-minute mark here. And right now, what else do we got around? Hellbringer with uh, barbed armor. I've noticed that's becoming a lot more core on him. I'm not too sure it's going to do him any good, however, because uh, he just goes down towards this combo. But no, look at that. Swiftblade and the Slither support coming in. Going to take out that Pestilence. And nope, Revy says, you're not getting away from that. I'm going to take you down. Even denies a tower. So right now, Druid, some really great countering coming out of them. Oh, I agree. And on the barbed armor for Hellbringer. It's got great synergy with his life void. If you deal damage to him, he's going to deal damage to you, and you're and he's going to gain 40% of that back. So it just adds to his survivability. Yeah, but you really got to get it off before you get stunned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's part of the get-go. You just got to get lucky, I guess. But just look at the how good of a pickup barbed armor is right now for Hellbringer. He's got Slither doing a dot. He's got Vindicator doing dot. He's got the swift spin and swift slashes that are going to be in the team fights. I don't really expect Hellbringer to be going down. He's going to be gaining so much life just from that life void. Yeah, I mean, that's uh, most probably right at this point. I mean, the, the right now, Binary Evasion is bringing the pain to Druid. So a nice, well-placed life void is going to be extremely hard to take him down. Portal Key on the Pestilence was picked up. Out comes the Malphus after a Sage's Lore and the Global Silence. Going to be tossing that. Flint Beast are back into the action and it looks like Pebbles is not going to be ruining this day as <laughs> I think it was just an auto attack that Bombardier used to take him down. Two for one exchange. Pebbles going down for the Flint and the Pestilence and uh, I guess Slither really wants to try making something of it. I tell you who else is going to make something of it. Swiftblade but he just uses magic immunity. Plague Rider saving his life even taking out Slither with it with that Contagion or sorry Plague Carrier uh, you know jumping around bonus ultimate of his so a two for two exchange but it will be the death of the tower here and Revy is of course still up in these trees I'm not too sure they know that though no I think they definitely know that <laughs> hmm. um yeah here we go homecoming stone I was gonna say does he have a homecoming stone yes he does all right just 
already an 11,000 experience lead, almost 10,000 gold lead for binary evasion. And I'm just taking a quick look at items. Vindicator got steam boots, so he's not that squishy more, and he's got a ring of the teacher. Yay! And... <laughs> That's what you were saying earlier, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah, I feel that ring of the teacher is so so mandatory in a tri lane. It's ridiculous. It just offers so much for a tri lane. Okay. Other than the portal key pickup on Pesty, it doesn't look like any big pickups. Oh, I was wrong about the Frostbrand. Looks like so Ender's going for a BKB, a shrunken head right now, rather than getting the rest of that Frostbrand. Well, BKB defensive, I mean, I'm not too sure that the BKB will stop a Swift Blade ult, but it should definitely help negate some of that spin damage. And uh, down south, Slither, whoa, nice rockets there, Nishka, as uh, down goes Slither. But a lot of people are now going to be very angry, as Flint Beast was going to get comboed upon, but I guess Pebbles is a little too afraid. Hellbringer, look at him tank all this damage. He's definitely doing well with that life void of his. He even got away from that nice and clean. Smackdown coming out for Rays. I think he's uh, definitely surpassing my expectations for the Smackdowns because I don't think he... Okay, he just got a kill without one, but I mean, it's very hard to see. He really likes that Smackdown button, doesn't he? Oh, yeah. And the Hellbringer, he's just surviving to the max. Look at his items. He's got a bolstering armband. Oh, it's still going on. I thought they, they were starting to back. Huh? No, they've backed. Don't worry. I'm at 26, oh, 58, okay. 59, 27... I think my laptop's lagging it's a all little good. bit. I keep on falling It's all behind. good. But yeah, I mean, Hellbringer, as you said, that Life Void with the damage return, I mean, he does have a good amount of strength to his name with the Steam Boots and the Bolstering, and uh, even, uh, you know, the Blood Chalice gives strength out of that as well. So does the Power Supply. In fact, every item he has except that Stone is making him very tanky. Oh yeah, he's already got 1,500 life, and it's just so hard to bring down a Hellbringer when you've just got good coordination on the other side of the, of the line. In fact, he actually has the most life out of all the heroes currently shown on my screen. So there you go. I, I'm kind of surprised. I thought Pesty would, but I was sorely mistaken. Well, it's a, Hellbringer is the tank. The 19 game. hit point difference. <laughs> it's hardly, hardly massive, hey. but hey. hey if, you if you almost win, you still lost. Yeah, I like that. I like that. If you've almost won, you still lost. Yeah. Man, I like that tagline. I'm going to put that in my signature now. Oh, sweet. I can say some stuff, apparently. <laughs> All right, so right now we do have a big kind of gathering here in the middle for the Legion. It does look like... Well, okay, I thought they were going to do some pressure here into the mid. I mean, we do have all three towers down, all the, you know, the very extraneous towers down for the Hellborn, while we don't actually have any tower losses here for the Legion. So that's it's a very strong showing right there that who has control of this game. Well, look at the base damage for the Hellborn team. Flint is the only one who has any base damage. It's just 100. So they have not done much damage to these towers whatsoever. Just taking a quick look at them. The lowest one is that top tower, and it's not even close to deny range yet. While the the Hellborn, their side, on your bottom lane, you've got the second tier tower that's pretty close to dying. Mm -hmm. And then the other two are in good shape as well. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. No, it's definitely, as I said, it's a great quick way to merit who's winning this match. Oh, well, they still have all their towers out. Nah, not so fun. A little bit of pot shotting going on back here. We do have wards of sight up for both teams, I believe. Yeah, on this uh, top jungle part, so everyone can see everyone else. And really, I don't know, if the Legion can get you know a good amount of kills here, even through the tower, that's going to be a very clear indication of strength, and it's just going to further uh, you know, put a gap between the Legion and the Hellborn at this point. Oh, Flint finished his BKB, so his shrunken head, so he's but, not going to be getting CC down anytime soon. No, so that's but that's very strong for him. Will it be enough? Will it be enough? I really doubt it. He's just going to get focus fired by anyone else. And just look at his HP. He's got 1,400, and like it's more than the majority of his team. But that's not enough to be going against 1v5. What about 4,400? That be enough? <laughs> <laughs> 4,400 HP? I don't know. Maybe. Arbitrary number I just made up. So, 
Oh, look at this. Pestilence going to go in with some help from Revy and the ultimate coming out of the playground. That was some great initiation on their part, but this uh, Pestilence is probably going to be paying for that. And just so much damage coming out. Out goes the Shrunken Head with this Flint Beast waiting. He's going to try to combo down this Slither who gets perma slowed by this Chipper. That was actually came out two for two. And now without uh, this, I mean, this tower is still down, so they can't really chase. And at the same time, Swift Blade is... Oh dear, that was a genocide. Swiftplay is just cleaning up with the help of Pebbles, and that's a genocide there on the Druids team, only paying for it with the Slither and the Vindicator. So right now, what happened to Swiftplay? Swiftplay went and found himself a Frostburn just lying around somewhere, and he is looking tip-top shape. 224 auto attack. That's um, quite a bit, sir. Quite a bit. Well, he's got the highest creep score in the game right now. He's got the he's got the best kill death ratio kill death assist score right now he's got 400 gold per minute and he's got 640 experience per minute switch is just taking over this game now he's gonna be extremely hard to out carry for this hellborn team Indeed, I can. <laughs> it was it felt only like five minutes ago we checked out the creep scores, and the top gold per minute was in the 200 range. But wow, 443 gold a minute. Um, definitely doing very well. 180 creep kills. Cannot complain at that. I mean, let's just say we're 30 minutes into the game. We're actually at 31, 43, 44. But even just make it easy. That 60 creep kills. Um, no, that six creep kills a minute. Yep. Just about. Six creep kills a minute. Not not too bad. One every ten seconds. And he just picked up an Abyssal Skull. So he's got a little bit of life still with that and a little bit more armor as well. So Pesty is not as effective. Yeah, that, but you bring up a good point with the Pestilence with his ultimate there for the reduction of armor. Um, really, that will synergize pretty well with the Flint Beastwood considering most of his stuff is physical, except, of course, that ult of his. That is, of course, magical. But uh, hollow point shells, yeah, they do do physical damage. So the Pestilence will do if definitely you know, go very well with that. Unfortunately, however, I mean, I just don't quite think it's going to fly this game, especially after a little bit of armor buff to the top character of the game at this point. One thing I'm a little bit surprised about is that the Hellborn haven't been able to take Kong. They've got a level 15 Pestilence, so that's minus 10 armor on Kong. Mm -hmm. But just look at the wards. There's no way that they can do Kong without the Legion knowing. Like, Pestilence is one of my favorite heroes to play Hellborn on, just because of how strong he is with Kong. Well, Pharaoh's also another, oh, what's going on up? Oh, man. Death and decay and destruction with that Flint Beastwood getting comboed upon up top, and yet another smackdown. What's the smackdown count up to? Like, seven now? With <laughs> the Swift Blade. Now, with Flint Beastwood out of the picture, this is a big chance for the Legion to swoop in for that mid Rax. Oh, yeah. And I think that's actually eight smackdowns, if I'm remembering correctly. Okay. But. I think Fresh Pro's got some competition right here. <laughs> <laughs> well, Binary Evasion did do very well in the DreamHack tournament that just went on this weekend. I'm not going to spoil anything, but they got to go up against MSI and display their skills there. So check them out if you like what you're seeing here, gen ladies and gentlemen. But what else is going on? Looks like Kong is going to be hit upon here by the Legion team. And without that Flint, I really don't see the Hellborn... Be, going to be able to do too much about it. Looks like Revy's trying to steal the kill and uh, just was not successful there. I, did that even hit Congor? Looked a little like it missed. I'm not actually sure if it does touch him or not because Congor, he's got 75 plus. Oh, or is that the latest patch that he gets the extreme magic immunity? Now? Not too sure. <laughs> hmm. Well, we'll just say we'll just say he failed at stealing it. We'll, we'll just leave it at that, I think. Yeah, well, he didn't feel like stealing that, that kill at bottom, but Kong, I guess, would be a little bit harder to steal. A little bit. Just a yeah, little bit. Yeah, what, 38,000 hit points or so? Yeah. <laughs> so now taking advantage, of course, with that Plague Rider dead, that is a lot of, you know, uh, counter-initiation that they don't have to really worry about at this point. I'd... Not too sure what Chipper's going to try to do, but it does not look like he's going to get tossed by that Pebbles. Very fortunate that there was a creep wave there. A lot of damage going down on Swift Blade here, but he does not really care. He has himself a Slayer 
with that token of life, and now this ranged barracks is in dire peril as they already took out that tower and the melee barracks before I could even finish the sentence. And this is just not really looking very good at druids whatsoever. Flint is back.